Welcome everyone, this is some No Man's Sky and we're going to start a new save for the Interceptor update. Absolutely. We're going to go normal. You know what? We'll go survival. More hazardous, more increased costs. Just totally harder. So we had a new update, the Interceptor update. We've had the Fractal updates. No Man's Sky just keeps getting better. Besides the waypoint, we'll excuse the waypoint and move on. All right, here we go. Rocking deep into space and unish. Yes, let's begin. Okay, so we're starting with a new save. Playing a little survival. I wish there was a way to skip all this right in the beginning. We've seen this. Shield kinetic system online. Okay, so we see. I'm gonna have to go get some sodium fast so I can get started. I'm gonna go get some. Oh my god, this is taking so long. I'm gonna cut all this. This is like worthless. Okay, I can't move yet. I'll let you know when I can move. They're just making it take forever. Wasting time. Okay. Okay, those things are gone. Scanners critically damaged. We need some ferrite dust. Absolutely. But we're going to need some marrow bulb. Marrow bulb goes... Yes. Let's... Okay. So... Marrow bulb turns into... Sodium. Let's go ahead and make a portable refiner. Oh my god. So... We need some metal plating. We need some oxygen. We got some Maribulb. Let's go get... Oh my. They're gonna make this so hard. Okay, so we have... We're on a carbon-based planet. We're on a poisonous planet which produces fungal mold. Which is horrible because there's not a lot... Okay, so we need that to get off the screen. And we need ferrite dust. We can't really scan anything. We can't really do much of anything good. Okay. But once we get the ability to kind of... Oh my. More ferrite dust. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Let's see what we got. 51 to 75. Not bad. Not bad. So... We're surviving. We know this. Oh my. Yes, yeah, horrible planet. Just the poisonous planets are horrible for ferrite. But we got some Maribulb, so that's gonna help out. We're gonna. We're about to have plenty of sodium. Sodium will be of the essence. Oh my, we're overheating. It's nasty! Oh my, get that off the screen, please. Yes! The stress. The moment. Okay, so we need to survive, but we need a scanner. Oh my. Oh my, yes, repair. Like, I don't know why I'm still pressing buttons! Very good, go. Uh, they like to make everything harder, and I hate that. I absolutely hate everything about survival mode. That's why I want to beat it. Oh my. Okay, so we need some oxygen. Oh my. Oh my. So horrible. So horrible. So horrible that the oxygen would be all the way over here. 
Come on. Oh my god. Why can't we just press it and be done with it? We gotta hold the button. That is so bad. Oh! Okay. Oh my, why can't we go to our inventory right away? Okay, very good. So we do have a little bit of oxygen. Let's see how much oxygen we need. For the portable refiner. 30. Okay, that's good. But we're going to need so much more before we can even get started and thinking about anything to do. See, they're spacing everything out astronomically. Oh, my. And our equipment is horrible. You can tell this is very, very difficult. Okay. So. Oh, my God. Get me out of here. I should only have to press B once. I didn't press that many buttons. Oh, my. Oh my. They say the NA is up here. That's the sodium. Oh my. Oh, this is hard. Oh. This is painful. Oh, this is so painful. Sodium. Oh my. This is so horrible. The beginning of No Man's Sky is so painful. Super grindy, don't like super grindy games. Horrible. Horrible. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so now we actually got a little bit of a start here. Yes, that's over there, but we need... We're not going to survive on this planet for very long. If we don't have more sodium. And we need oxygen. We need everything. Okay, here we go. This is going to help. This will make it to where we can... Oh, my. Wow, and they don't even bring us to the correct screen when I press the correct button. All right. Let's see if we can... Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my. Wow. Wow. All right, so that increases our health. That's gonna help us out with some carbon. Damage container, yes, you already know I want the metal. Sodium nitrate, I can deal with that. So that'll help us survive for a little bit longer. Now all I need, and we got some more carbon, so that's gonna help. Now we need, yes, that's right, O2. I hate animals, I do. Unless I'm farming them, I can't stand them. They're always in the way. It seems like they're always in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, O2. Let's see what we have in our inventory here. Okay, so we got plenty of O2. Let's go ahead and make sure we have plenty of sodium here. Okay. Kept pressing the right buttons. You know, sometimes No Man's Sky is a little glitchy. It doesn't always do what you want it to do on the first moment. But, we got some Maribulb. Maribulb turns into sodium. We're going to get a one for one on this. Which is going to be plenty for us to do what we need to do. This will help us get over to our our spaceship. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and pick up this thing. Very nice. Okay, so chart. The scanner's recharging. We're working our way up to the spaceship right over here. Yes. 
as much sodium as you can possibly find. If you can find a cave with some marabolb in it, that definitely, definitely helps. Toxic protection falling. Oh my. And exosuit upgrades, definitely awesome too. Okay, boundary separation failure? Likely. Vessel emptied. Okay. It's basically just getting us ready for the game. The traveler anatomy is detected. Position logged. We're going to be looking for another traveler. We gotta get in the ship, and then we'll probably come back over this. But I want the nanites from this machine right here. The living slime—that's awesome. Totally awesome. Ooh, a mining beam module. Okay. That's nasty. So we're gonna get some more mining speed. Okay, let's get through all this. We already know we're going to be looking for a traveler. It's part of the main mission. He's trying to figure out where he is, who he is, doesn't know where he is, doesn't know what he's doing. Let's go. We're getting through all this. Okay, so we're going to have to repair our ship. Awesome, so we need some her a hermetic seal and some steel plating. We do not have the recipe for the hermetic seal, but we can do the steel plating. Okay. As you can see, scanner's recharging. Let's get back in. Okay, so now it's telling us... So that way we can figure out what we have to do, right? Now it's telling us to collect 50 ferrite dust. And then craft some metal plating. So it's got to know that the only thing that we don't have... Is the hermetic seal and then it'll start doing its thing it'll help us out basically with the hermetic seal we're gonna have to get the analysis scanner going too oh boy hotkeys let's get it going I was hoping to go to a ferrite planet first. Ferrite planets are m so much better. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and make some steel plating. Okay, got that part of it. So now we go and it's telling us to reboard after we've made the metal, the steel plate, right? And now it's going to give us the hermetic seal. We're going to request assistance. It's going to find a nearby one. And here we go. Boom. Let's go. And we come right back over here and grab... Our hermetic seal. Well, it's going to make us, you know, go through the planet, take the planetary chart, which is going to open up another part of the game, and all of that. Okay, so now we go, we find our, it's just teaching us about, you know, how to find things based on what the charts do.
Okay. So we got some carbon in here. I'm gonna grab some carbon so I have fuel. Grab a little bit of cobalt. We'll need that. Right out of the gate. Not too much, but a little bit. And these are pretty crucial. You never know what a geode could be. Okay, ionized cobalt. 39 of them. Nice. Get some car cave marrow for Maribald. Now it'll give us some more sodium. We'll need that. Yeah, but the caver is going to help us out here. Very good. Getting some items, getting some objects. Remember, we're playing with survival-based difficulty levels. Okay, so we're going to need this for some dye jelly. Let's, let's just grab this right now. Very good. We'll die hydrogen. Be able to make some jelly. Make sure we get all of it. That way we're good to go. Right off the start. Brand new save. Here we go. Okay, get a little bit more carbon. Get some of this. Get a little bit more cobalt, not too much. Cave marrow, absolutely. There's some marrow ball. So we've got some O2 out here. I think we've got... We've got some Maribulb. We've got some sodium. And we're at 100% with hazard protection. We've got a little bit of O2. But the sodium nitrate, that's going to help us out. Pretty much does the same thing. It's just a condensed version. Make sure we keep an eye on that. Oh, the O2. That way we can get some more. We're gonna go get that hermetic seal now. Boom. And four of them back to back. And the storm's clearing, so we are good to go. All right, let's go get that hermetic seal. And we'll get some dihydrogen along the way. Absolutely, yes. Dihydrogen is crucial. Toxic protection falling. So are nanites, but we'll be able to cook later. We just gotta get this initial thing going. Oh boy. Oh, of course they've got to make it mountainous to where we can't just really easily do what we got to do. And just get to where we got to get to. Okay. And they're going to make it all the way over here. Very nice. Okay, it looks like we got a lot of dihydrogen right here. A lot of it. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. We are going to need this. I 
I don't want to be stuck looking for this later. Get it right now while we can. Get in a little extra ferrite dust. That's gonna help. Okay. Excellent. Make sure we can pick up some more sodium as we go, but we don't necessarily have to. Ooh. What is this? What are they telling us is here? Okay. Can't grab it yet. We gotta. We gotta f do the missions. Okay, let's grab this sodium. There's two of them right here. Seriously gonna help. We got the Mariball for backup. We've got some dihydrogen. It's gonna come in super handy. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw that oxygen in there. And we still got some oxygen left over. Absolutely. Playing survival mode. So far, doing well. So far. Getting some stuff for the future. We could have already been there, but we're grabbing some stuff for the future. And of course, they're going to make it super far away. But we are getting lucky with a little bit of sodium that's kind of in our path. Okay, let's go ahead, press the down D-pad, and just recharge everything right up. Let's go find... Looks like it's right over here. Depending on... Now, the elements change depending, you know, if, if you're not a new player, you know this. You don't... If you start on a new, new save, you don't necessarily start out on the same starting planet. It randomly puts you in there. It should let you do a paradise planet, but I haven't really seen that. Okay, lots of Maribulb here. Kinda wouldn't mind marking this. Okay. Let's go get the Hermetic Seal. Okay, the archive. Yep, the, going through some logs. And we just keep on going. Yes, it's leaving the fabricator. This, that, the other, and the third. Can't find recover supplies. Yes, let's go. Right, Hermetic Seal. Now we've got to run all the way back over to our ship. Which means I'm going to grab a little bit more of this. You never know when we might need some. Very probable we're going to need some more ferrite dust. Once we get our ship up and running, we'll be able to be a little bit more mobile here. Got some more sodium. More hydrogen. Excellent. Almost right in our path. Let's go. Let's get some. Very, very nice. Here we go. You know, I'm going to do a long play version and see if people actually like it. Okay. And even when I say something's painful, guys, it's not a knock on No Man's Sky. I really like the game. It's just certain parts of it. Oh, it's painful. But I, it's, it's the point of the game. 
Some people play for the challenge. I play for the big builds. I just gotta get to that point. Okay. So, now let's go back and find our ship. Use the analysis scanner to locate ship. Okay, so we need some carbon tubes, right? We can't make carbon tubes there. We gotta come back to our exosuit inventory. Oh my. Carbon tube. So we need car more carbon. 48 out of 50. Not a problem. There's tons of carbon here. That thing just wanted to die. Ran right in the way. That's fine. We'll take the steak. Steak is good. We'll cook some. But it totally wanted to die. Okay. So, come back over here. Let's make up. We're going to need carbon nano nanotubes. Let's go ahead and go to our multi-tool. Analysis visor. Use a little bit more sodium. I don't know why I didn't charge it all the way. Okay. Now we can scan some items here. Okay. For a very low money, but that's going to come up. We're going to go ahead. Oh. Okay. And we got to mark this area. And now we know our ship is right this way. Ju the recommendation is to test the uh, analysis scanner. We did that. It's working. Let's go ahead and get some more. We're going to need a little bit of hi the hydrogen. It's not going it, it, to... Especially in an early game, you're going to need some. Because we're going to want to craft some refiners. And we're going to need some uh, dye jelly to do that. But before I go too crazy and uh, identifying a whole bunch of plants or animals, I want the upgrade to the analysis visor. So the compass is at the top of the screen. That's what it's talking about. Notice I'm just running towards the starship if you're a new player. And if you're a first-time player, I know I'm not reading all the passages and all that. I would totally get immersed into the storyline. Um, I've just played... I've, I've had many playthroughs on this. I've got about 600 hours in the game total. I know that's not as much as some people, but it's still... I'm not new to the game. Okay. And this is just the beginning. We're going to be getting into base building and how I choose my my areas, how I choose pretty much everything. Some of it's based on the companions in the area. Some of it's based on power supply. Uh, the first initial base that I build, just to do the tutorial, I will destroy. Um... Just because I don't want... You can only have so many bases with so many parts. And you do have a maximum amount of parts that you can use. So I don't want to be wasteful. I want to get the very, very most I can out of my builds. So I will be destroying everything that I build. In... Okay. Let's go. So normally... Sodium... Nice. Sodium. Okay, we ha we do have some sodium. Oh wow, that's just hovering. That's a building module. You will use that to buy items later. The building modules super super important. Okay, salvage data. We will need that. 
to be able to build more items later on. You'll see that later on in the show. Probably not this episode, though. We'll pretty much go through the beginning. Oh my. Oh, I can't wait for upgrades. Okay, we got in though. So as you go in, you can see the toxicity levels raise and it pretty much save us, saves us. Let's go ahead and go to our inventory, right? And repair the ship. Absolutely. We're going to have to make some early game money. We'll be going over that. This is the start. The very beginning. We've got the ship now. The ship is fixed. Um, we need some pure ferrite. Now. See the dye jelly. Oh, yes. But we're going to cover this on the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I'll see you on the next video.